Hello, I'm Sneha Koshi. It's a big day for BJP with record win in Gujarat. It's a seventh consecutive win for the party in the state, a landmark in state politics. The Himachal defeat, Prime Minister said, was less than a 1% margin, thanking the voters. Let's listen to what the Prime Minister said at the mega BJP celebrations at the Delhi headquarters. Is bar vaakai. गुजरात ने तो कमाल ही कर दिया है मैं नड्डा जी सहित सभी भाजपा कार्यकर्ताओं को बधाई देता हूं और विशेष रूप से मैं गुजरात की जनता को भी नमन करता हूं चुनावों के दौरान मैंने गुजरात के भाई बहनों और युवाओं से कहा था कि इस बार नरेंद्र का रिकॉर्ड टूटना चाहिए और मैंने वादा किया था कि भूपेंद्र नरेंद्र का रिकॉर्ड तोड़े इसलिए नरेंद्र जी जान से मेहनत करेगा और गुजरात की जनता ने तो रिकॉर्ड तोड़ने में भी रिकॉर्ड कर दिया उसने गुजरात की स्थापना से लेकर के अब तक सारे रिकॉर्ड तोड़ दिए साथियों इस चुनाव में गुजरात में एक करोड़ से भी ज्यादा ऐसे वोटर्स थे जिन्होंने मतदान किया लेकिन ये वो मतदाता थे जिन्होंने कभी भी कांग्रेस के कुशासन को उसकी बुराइयों को देखा नहीं था वे फ्रेश थे उन्होंने सिर्फ भाजपा के ही सरकार को देखा था और युवाओं की तो प्रकृति होती है कि वो हमेशा सवाल पूछते हैं जांचते हैं परखते हैं उसके बाद किसी फैसले पर पहुंचते हैं युवा सिर्फ इसलिए किसी पार्टी को वोट नहीं करते क्योंकि वो दशकों से सत्ता में रही या फिर उस पार्टी के नेता किसी बड़ी परिवार के हैं युवा तभी वोट देते हैं जब उन्हें भरोसा होता है जब उन्हें सरकार का काम प्रत्यक्ष नजर आता है और इसलिए आज युवाओं ने जब भाजपा को भारी संख्या में वोट दिया है सीट से लेकर वोट तक के सारे रिकॉर्ड तोड़ दिए हैं क्रैकर्स म्यूजिक and modi modi chants along with jai shri ram to mark the bjp's blockbuster performance the highest tally ever for a party in gujarat crossing 150 seats in the 182 strong assembly that too in a seventh consecutive win the bhartiya janta party has many reasons to celebrate in gujarat the party has not lost in the state since 1995 despite their long rule the polls suggest that the party has not faced anti incumbency sentiments now equal the left's seven consecutive term run in west bengal winning with a record number of seats the all time record for the highest seats won in gujarat was held by congress's madhav singh solanki when he won 149 seats in the state in 1985 relying on the khaam combination or the kshatriya harijan adivasi and muslim combination bjp's best performance in the state so far was in 2002 the same year as the riots when the party won 127 seats and modi was the chief minister the party is set to break both these records and to make history The Gujarat victory proving fortress Modi in Gujarat backed by Amit Shah's micromanagement has become even more impregnable with a complete Congress collapse and AAP's lackluster debut hitting the Congress more than the BJP. 
There are many reasons to this victory. The Bharatiya Janata Party ran an intense campaign in the state which proved that Brand Modi was invincible in his home state. With his famous slogan of A Gujarat, Main Banavyu Che, or that he made this Gujarat, helping him re-establish his connect with the state. Despite Morbi British tragedy in which over 150 died, the release of Bilkis Bano's rapists, 27 years of anti-incumbency, the Modi connect with voters has only grown in his prime ministership and strengthened. The party has also took on an organization overhaul. The chief minister and the entire Gujarat cabinet was replaced just 15 months before the elections. But the new chief minister, Bhupendra Patel, a first-time MLA, had little role in the win. Add to that the so-called Congress silent campaign that proved invisible to the voters and a more visible Amadmi party that dented the Congress vote share much more than the BJP's. All this meant advantage BJP. <laughs> एंटी इनकम्बेंसी थी ही नहीं प्रो इनकम्बेंसी गुजरात में रही है और नया नया रिकॉर्ड बन रहा है और इसके प्रति हम लोग पहले से ही आश्वस्त थे ये कोई हम लोग इससे चमत्कृत नहीं है कि क्यों 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 क्योंकि क्योंकि हमारे हमारे प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी के प्रति गुजरात की जनता का एक बहुत ही बेहद विश्वास है गुजरात में जो परिणाम आए हैं वो हमारी कांग्रेस पक्ष की अपेक्षा मुझब नहीं आए और पहले ही दिन से हम बोल रहे थे कि आम आदमी पार्टी और ओवीसी जी यहाँ कांग्रेस के मत काटने के लिए आए हैं चुनाव जीतने के लिए नहीं आए और परिणाम भी आपने देख लिया कि चुनाव नहीं जीत पाए लेकिन कांग्रेस को हराने में आम आदमी पार्टी और ओवीसी जी का एक बड़ा रोल रहा ये भी ठीक बात द कांग्रेस इज गुजरात इंचार्ज रघु शर्मा resigned from the post taking responsibility for the party's disastrous performance in the state despite a high voltage campaign in the state the aam aadmi party came a distant third with less than 10 seats and a vote share in the low double digits the chief minister candidate ishudan gadvi and their other popular leader gopal italia lost their seats however these elections have helped aam aadmi party secure a national party tag as they have now fulfilled the requirement of winning at least two seats and having more than 6% votes in four states delhi punjab goa and now gujarat jitne vote gujarat mein aam aadmi party ko mile hain unke hisab se kanunan ab aam aadmi party rashtriya party ban gayi hai the bjp will now hold the swearing in ceremony on 12th of december at 12 noon where bhupendra patel is expected to take oath as the chief minister and the man who has been credited with this victory by all prime minister narendra modi is also expected to be in attendance with camera person manoj gohil in ahmedabad and tanushri pande for ntv and a comfortable win for the congress in himachal is actually a big consolation for the party but a major challenge for congress lies right ahead in fact sachin pilot speaking exclusively to ndtv said uh, and he of course has been the party in charge for himachal he told ndtv that the myth of bjp's invulnerability in north india is over gujarat though however according to the leader was a different case let's listen in because it it almost seemed like in these assembly elections such in the congress was running two very different campaigns uh the one in himachal where uh you uh, other leaders your own uh, leaders from himachal from different districts uh, who have their spheres of influence priyanka gandhi there was a there was a more organized a uh, sustained campaign for for some time but gujarat it it was the complete opposite uh where it almost seemed like the party gave up even before before the fight began so you know there were like these two different campaigns in in, in this election no it's not true so don't forget that we still have almost 28% vote share in gujarat but it's true also that the vote of the opposition got divided and then we had mim and amani party all you know uh, dividing the opposition vote so the congress party was fighting against the government of india the state government and these fringe players who actually ate up a lot of the vote share that the congress traditionally got uh, but i think we have to go back to the drawing map and start from scratch but i must tell you i also campaigned in gujarat 
it's the Gujarat Congress is still present and alive. But in the last few years, we had reverses. We had people leaving the party, joining the BJP. Uh, and all that, I think, took away a lot of the, uh, uh, you know, the, the gusto that we should have had going into the campaign. Um, we did the best that we could. Of course, it's way below our expectation. No one can be happy about this result, certainly. But I think the Congress Party's presence in Gujarat can't be uh, written off just with one loss. I think the, the candidates, the workers, the voters are still there. Uh, and I think we can build in from here and build up to the 2024 looks of elections. Of course, the Gujarat campaign, uh, you know, the, the, the man in charge was Mr. Ashok Gehlot, your friend. Uh, <laughs> and any, anything you'd like to say on that? Do you think he was distracted by something else that might be going on? Sachin, are you pretending not to hear me or you genuinely we can't hear me? I think it's not one person who is responsible here. You, I'm saying that we no one person can be blamed for a victory or, uh, or, or for a loss or be given credit for a victory. We all play our part. Uh, so I don't think it's, it's right to say that one person alone is responsible for you know one state or the other. It's a team effort. The state unit has to put a lot of effort in. And we all contributed. Uh, I went to campaign in Gujarat and Mr. Kilot came to uh, campaign in Himachal. So I don't think it's about individuals. It's about every state having a different landscape, different political realities. And Gujarat, you know, we have been losing for many times. Uh, we did pretty well last time, but this time our, our numbers are way below what we expected. So it's time for us to really do some chintan, think about where we're going to go in Gujarat, start from scratch, go back to the drawing board. Uh, but right. like I said, you know, we have almost 28% vote share with that still. Despite but it. if there was a lesson for the party from the Himachal campaign, what would that be? What did you all do right in Himachal? that you got so wrong in Gujarat? I think you can't compare the two states, right? Himachal is a much smaller, it's a hilly state. Gujarat is a different sort of a uh, political landscape. And both states traditionally have been a two-party state. Uh, the Amani party tried to uh, venture into Himachal, didn't find much success, and then put all his efforts in, in, uh, in Gujarat, which ended up dividing the opposition vote. So that's why the numbers, I think the 150 plus numbers don't reflect the effectiveness or delivery of the BCP government. It, if it reflects more on the political reality of the state. And the BJP scored a massive victory in Uttar Pradesh's Rampur Assembly. Bipol winning the seat for the first time ever. The seat and area were strongholds of the Samajwadi Party's Azam Khan for decades. In Menpuri, where a Lok Sabha Bipol was held after the death of SP founder Mulayam Singh Yadav, Dimple Yadav, the former Lok Sabha MP and wife of party chief Akhilesh Yadav, won big. Alok Pandey reports. A big win for the Samajwadi Party's Dimple Yadav in the Manpuri Lok Sabha Bipol. But an upset in Rampur, where the BJP won the assembly seat for the first time ever. Defeating the candidate backed by Azam Khan, the Samajwadi Party veteran whose conviction in a hate speech case led to the Bipol there. Khan and his family have won Rampur continuously since 1980, except once. The seat saw an abysmal polling percentage of just over 30 on voting day. The Samajwadi Party had alleged it was because the police and the administration did not allow Samajwadi Party supporters to vote, a charge denied by the government. Uh, is baat ka hai, ke bar -bar karne ke baad bhi election commission ko jo, uh, वो प्रशासन के ऊपर कार्रवाई नहीं हुई और रामपुर का चुनाव दोबारा होना चाहिए जिन बूथों पे हमेशा समाजवादी पार्टी को अच्छे वोट मिलते थे वहां फोर्स ज्यादा लगाया गया सेंसिटिव घोषित किए गए लोग अगर बाहर निकले तो उन्हें पीटा गया पुलिस ने मारा उनको घर में बंद कर दिया कईयों के चोट आई है कईयों के हाथ टूटे हैं बहुत सारे लोगों को गाली गलौज अपमानित होना पड़ा है ये अगर इलेक्शन कमीशन नहीं देखेगा तो हम किस पे भरोसा करेंगे सिर्फ इतना कहूंगा कि आज रामपुर में जिस तरीके का ऐतिहासिक परिणाम जो आया है कि आज भारतीय जनता पार्टी भारतीय जनता पार्टी 34000 मतों से आज जो विजय हुई है इसके लिए रामपुर की हिंदू रामपुर के मुसलमान सब भाइयों को मेरा बहुत-बहुत आभार व्यक्त करता हूं और विश्वास दिलाता हूं कि जिस विश्वास के साथ उन्होंने मुझे चुना है मैं उसका खरा उतरूंगा a big 2.5 lakh plus margin win for Dimple Yadav. Former MP and wife of Samajwadi Party Chief Akhilesh Yadav in the Manpuri Lok Sabha Bipol that took place after the death of SP founder Mulayam Singh Yadav, the incumbent MP. Both Dimple and Akhilesh had campaigned extensively across Manpuri. 
seeking votes in the name of Netaji, as Mulayam was called, and his legacy. मैं सबसे पहले मैनपुरी लोकसभा के सभी मतदाताओं का धन्यवाद देता हूं मैनपुरी के मतदाताओं ने नेताजी को यह सच्ची श्रद्धांजलि दी है ये एक तरफ जहां समाजवादी पार्टी को जिताया है वहीं भारतीय जनता पार्टी की जो नकारात्मक राजनीति है उसको पराजित करने का काम मतदाताओं ने किया है दिस इज अ व्हीकल दैट बिलोंग्स टू शिवपाल यादव the once estranged uncle of akhilesh yadav who've had a blow hot blow cold relationship in the last some time uh, today after this massive lead uh, in the manpuri lok sabha by election for dimple yadav the former lok sabha mp and the wife of samajwadi party chief akhilesh yadav uh, akhilesh and shivpal got together here in sefai their home village and they basically decided to patch up perhaps permanently and that is why you have a situation where uh, the flag of the samajwadi party has been installed on the car of shivpal yadav who heads at the moment a different party the pragati shil samajwadi party but he says that he is going to merge his party a plus for the sprld alliance in western uttar pradesh's khatoli assembly by poll where the rld candidate defeated the bjp the seat was held by the bjp with arshad jamal tamkin fayaz mohammad dilshad and rajesh gupta this is alok pande and dtv Welcome back. And the Trinamool Congress has claimed that Saket Gokhale has been picked up again by the Gujarat police. The TMC spokesperson Saket Gokhale, uh, according uh, to sources, has been picked up by the Morbi police this time. Earlier, he had uh, gone ahead and received bail after being arrested by the cyber crime branch over a fake tweet case. Um, uh, in fact, uh, which was allegedly linked to. the morbi tragedy and uh, he was sent to two day custody earlier by the ahmedabad court and was out on bail before he was being arrested again the court has given me bail today despite that they want to arrest me again in a morbi related matter so the idea here is that to keep the person into prison as long as they can despite the honorable court having given bail today this is what the bharatiya janata party is now doing the idea is to teach a lesson and joining me for more on this is my colleague saurabh saurabh so first a bail and then a second arrest in the alleged fake tweet case Well, you know that's of course something that the police will have to clarify on which case exactly they've arrested him in again is it the same case because the law is very clear someone cannot be prosecuted for the same crime twice it can happen only once so the police have already arrested him taken course of action once unless they had some other thing or some other thing they cannot uh, arrest that is a legal principle but in this case what it is whether there's another case or not is something the police have clarified minutes after he was uh, walking out of jail after he was granted bail this evening uh, sakit gokhale has been arrested again his arrest has been criticized by the tnc both the top leaders of the tnc mamta banerjee and abhishek banerjee have hit out at the bjp but it seems the bjp also is still unrelenting as far as this issue is concerned Right, Saurabh. Thank you so much. We, this is something, of course, that you will be following uh, through the day. And moving on, Telangana Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao's party, Telangana Rashtra Samiti, has now officially become the Bharat Rashtra Samiti. This after the Election Commission of India approved the party's request to change its name in October. KCR had announced that TRS will be named BRS in order to take the party to a national level with its national ambitions. and all educational institutions will remain closed in chennai and five other districts of tamil nadu with cyclone mandes expected to cross between puducherry and shri harikota near mamlapuram at midnight of friday alerts for heavy rainfall have been issued for different parts of tamil nadu the national disaster response force or the ndrf is on alert in 10 districts that are likely to bear the brunt of the cyclone That's all we have in this bulletin. Thank you for watching.